Empress Valen, the Eternal Empire has taken Voss. Our forces await your command. <laughs> Lovely. Begin the hunt. And torch the planet behind you. When Voss falls, the entire galaxy will beg to serve me. Your sovereignty cannot be denied, Empress. But the Voss are a stubborn and territorial species. Brute force may impede our hunt. You're right, Scorpio. Where are my manners? Give them a five-second head start. Then, burn the planet to ash. Don't worry. We've got this. On second thought, run! Commander! Valen launched her attack early. We need you now! I read you, Theron. Hold your ground and defend the city. The Alliance is on its way. All ships, fire on the Eternal Fleet. Draw their attention away from the surface. This is it, Lana. Give me our status report. Three minutes to landfall, Commander. Ground troops stand ready to follow you into battle. We'll touch down in the city and lead the liberation of Voss. But Valen won't make it easy for us. She's hammering the planet with the full might of the Eternal Empire. She's risking everything for a neutral world with little strategic value. Why? Maybe she's luring us into a conflict, testing the Alliance's strength. Big mistake. Torian, what's your status? Mandalorians are ready to follow the Alliance commander into battle. I expect your warriors to carve Valen's army to pieces. If you want slaughter, they'll deliver. We're coming in fast. Brace yourselves. If you want to rally the troops, it's now or never. Such chaos demands my attention. In my absence, you completed your training and dethroned my son. But you also allowed my daughter to seize power. Now, witness the destructive might of the Eternal Throne. You didn't have a problem with Voss dying by your wrath's hand. A necessary sacrifice is nothing compared to my daughter's depravity. If Valen remains on the throne, Voss is only a taste of the carnage to come. Deep down, you're proud of the monster you spawned. Valen is my most perfect creation, and the most dangerous. Soon, you will see. Good shot, Theron. I aim to please. Next time, aim to kill. Show off. You arrived just in time. The Voss are safe inside the Tower of Prophecy, but we can't hold out much longer. Saving civilians isn't a priority. You were supposed to clear the city. I can manage both. I hate to interrupt, but we've got company. Horizon Guard, 
Valen's executioner squad. Sounds like a fun bunch. Let's get you to our command post before more show up. Greetings, Commander. The Voss feared your defeat. I knew better. I saw a vision of your arrival. I make my own future. If the Voss were smarter, they'd do the same. Everyone walks a different path. We've got a distress call coming in hot. Stand by. Senya. Hello, Outlander. You look good for someone I almost blasted into a million pieces. A turn of events I hope we won't repeat. Arkin is with me now. On Voss. Of course. Valen's only attacking the planet to burn her family out of hiding. And now she leaves me no choice. I need your help, Outlander. Arkin needs your help. You want to help him? Drive your lightsaber through his chest? My son deserves a second chance. I brought him here to mend his broken body. Cure him of his hatred. Then Valen found us. We don't have much time. Help me hold off my daughter's army. Once Arkin's healed, he'll join your fight. I know it. Save Arkin? Didn't see that one coming. Senya can't be trusted, but if she's desperate enough to beg for help, now is the perfect time to strike. And eliminate two of the galaxy's most dangerous fugitives. Senya's call originated from the Shrine of Healing. The Voss and Gormak unite there to defend our home. They will aid your fight. My shuttle can get us close, but we'll have to make the final assault on foot. Lana, gather a Mandalorian team and converge on the Shrine. Theron and I will lead the charge for Arkan and Senya. We can't let Valen reach them first. They're torching the planet without me. The Alliance seeks a confrontation, Empress. You are wise to deny them that pleasure. Mother's all I care about. Smashing her hopes. Watching her beg for mercy. Maybe I'll throw a party and dance to her screams. She is not your only obstacle. Mandalorians helped the Alliance break our assault on Voskar. Their victory signals a new force on the battlefield. The Outlander. The vessel holding your father's spirit. My entire family on Voss. Oh, we are going to have so much fun. Never thought I'd see Voss and Gormak fighting together. They'll be at each other's throats the second Valen's out of the picture. So long as they play nice now, I can't complain. Why aren't you advancing on the shrine? Rignoem the Anson Jum Visagore Kilomba. Down! La Dutsino Futcom, Nego Wabon Gyaroi, Contas of Wolfat Bankap. Many run for the shrine, all die. Hiding is the only choice. You can risk the Eternal Fleet. 
where you can face my lightsaber. Your choice. Eternal fleet. you no offense but you look really small from up here hand over the gravestone and I'll skip the part of your punishment where we pull out your teeth no deal now if you don't mind I'm off to protect innocent lives typical we'll deal with cough later to the Shrine of Healing! This should be the place. Where's Senya? I'm here. It doesn't have to end this way. Sorry, am I interrupting? Valen. Quiet, mother. I wish I'd buried you with the last of your loyal knights and Ord Mantel. But then they never would have tracked you back to Arkin. Now you can die in each other's arms. You're better than this. You're always saying that. And you're always wrong. Outlander, why don't we crack open that head of yours so father can come out to play? My child makes a mockery of herself. Valkorion sends his regards. That's a first. Oh, sorry I have to miss the family reunion, but I've sent you all a gift. I'll see you soon, Mother. What are you waiting for? The fleet has encountered minor complications. The gravestone dilutes our firepower, but we can compensate. Do it! We need to work together. Hold Valen off, and I'll cleanse Arkin's rage. Then we'll join your fight. I know, my son. If he regains his strength, he will annihilate you and Valen in his campaign to retake the throne. Please, Outlander. If Arkin isn't healed, he'll turn against us all. You need to trust me. There can be no redemption for the fallen Emperor of Zakul, abandoned by his mother, poisoned by his father. You have failed him, Senya. I haven't failed him yet. Lana, take your Mandalorians and move on Senya and Arkan. They won't escape me again. Hurry! Patience.
Senya. This is a family matter. You abandoned your family. I've lost him. And now his father is going to help me destroy him. Valkorian. If I can't save my son, at least I can kill his father. The mother of my children, reduced to ruin by a parent's folly. I know Valkorian's there. Let me speak with him one last time. Valkorian. Senya, the kiss of Isaacs warms you. And lights your eternal flame. You remembered. I've never forgotten. How you sang to me on Ivalis Crest. How you turned your back on your children. How you made them kill your enemies. Kill each other. All for a taste of approval that would never come. Why? You know why. May Isaacs save my son. I'll be sure to tell Arkan about this touching moment right before I kill him. You are truly the son Valkorian always wanted. Mother! You were mine! Ah! Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. I'll stay here and keep the Sky Troopers off your back. Arkan is close. We must hurry. Arkan! Arkans escaping. Now would be a good time to put aside our differences and stop him. Fight your own battles. Kill them all. Valen's going to disintegrate her family, along with half of Voss. Those ships belong to the Sith Empire. Maybe they want to join our alliance. Arkan escaped. That's all that matters. Arkan will return. And I'll crush him the second he shows his metal-capped face. You have not earned such confidence. Consider the cost of your hard-won victory. Thousands killed. 
a planet devastated. The mother's sacrifice. There is only one way to end this chaos and bring order to the galaxy. You must seize the Eternal Throne. As the supreme leader of Zakul, no one could challenge me. You were wrath made flesh. You destroyed my enemies and made the Dark Lords tremble. You were the Alliance commander, champion of fear, and conqueror of my every challenge. No one is more worthy of taking the throne. Not even my children. I alone deserve the greatest power in the galaxy. Then you must seize it. The Eternal Throne is yours for the taking. It is your destiny. Ah! They retreated! This shouldn't have happened. This is your fault! I gave the Gemini droids the freedom to choose. They simply made a choice you didn't like. Mother should have been mine. I'm going to dismantle every one of those droids. By fixating on Senya, you neglected a much greater threat. The Outlander. My father was there, too. I felt him. And you chose to ignore him. You've been thinking like a child. Focus on the big picture. I see it now. It's all connected. And the Outlander is the key. Call coming in from the Sith fleet. It's Empress Asina. Greetings, Commander. It is an honor to finally speak to you. Skip the pleasantries. Tell me what you want. Very well. Straight to the point, then. The Sith are tired of being crushed under the Eternal Empire's boot. We wish to join your cause. So, you come groveling to the Alliance to fix your problems? If I remember correctly, my fleet solved your last problem. I'm proposing an alliance of two independent powers against a common foe. I spent too long in the Empire to trust a word of this. Then allow me to demonstrate my allegiance. While you were frozen in Carbonite, many things changed. Come to Droman Kass. See for yourself. Sure, we'll head right over. That doesn't sound like a trap at all. What would I gain by betraying you? Your followers would turn against us, and we would have even more enemies out for vengeance. The Empress did put herself at risk by helping us here. Valen isn't likely to forgive that. We can meet. But you pull anything, and the Alliance will be storming your world by sundown. I know better than to get on your bad side. I will look forward to your arrival. I guess it couldn't hurt to visit. We've got intel, but I can learn a lot more if we're there in person. Dig up Asina's secrets. I expect results. I always deliver. I'm curious to see if things really have changed since I left. Whatever we find, this trip will be interesting. Roman cars. I clung to this world for too long before I cast it aside as a failed experiment. The Empire was stronger without you. Were you? This is the empty husk I left behind. But the Sith could still be a useful tool to help you seize the Eternal Throne.
Honoured guests, welcome to Dromond Cass. Moff Lorman. It's Minister Lorman now. Really? I figured your career was over after you lost the Ascendant Spear. Of course, Asena sends a lackey to greet us. And Lorman was a Sith lapdog when I met him, too. It's Minister Lorman, and the past is irrelevant. I serve Empress Asena now. She awaits us in the throne room. Welcome, Commander. These are strange times. Once we would have been on the same side. Now we negotiate as strangers. I only came to watch you beg for my help. You're speaking to the Empress of the Sith. You will address her with respect. I would like to continue this conversation on my personal shuttle. Just the two of us, speaking freely. It may not be wise to split up. Be ready if anything happens, and keep an eye on Lorman. It's Minister Lorman! Minister Lorman! Is that so hard to remember? Don't worry about us, Commander. There remain Sith who do not approve of the Alliance I offer. They hold tight to the old ways. But to stop Valen, we must work together. I was strong enough to take Arkham down without your help. And then his sister took his place. We both know there is only one path to victory. You want to seize the Eternal Throne, and I will help you. And then you'll betray me and claim it for yourself. Ambition was the downfall of many great Sith. I will not let it be mine. Unchecked, Valen will grind us into dust. I am not powerful enough to stop her. You are, with my help. Engine's non-responsive. We need to bring it down. We're coming in too fast. Bail out! Your skills are impressive, Commander. It's good to know your reputation is not exaggerated. Give me one reason I shouldn't kill you here and now. We both nearly died in that crash. I wouldn't put myself in such danger. My vessel was sabotaged. Probably the same person jamming our comm signals. If I find out you arranged this... I'm aware of the consequences, and I promise you I am not behind it, but I am eager to learn who is. My shuttle has an emergency beacon. The signal should cut through any interference. If help is coming, that's where they'll be. Just about into the main network. Someone's coming. Forgive the intrusion, but I come bearing tragic news. The Empress's shuttle has crashed. Crashed where? Somewhere in the jungle. Unfortunately, the emergency locator is not transmitting. That's... Uh, that's impossible. Not if the shuttle disintegrated. I'm afraid there's only one logical conclusion. The Empress and Commander are dead.
Slogging through the forest to hunt you down was going to be the worst part of this job. It's so much easier when the targets come to us. You're going to pay for your employer's mistake. Good luck. The Geno Harridan don't go down easy. The Geno Harridan? I thought you were just a myth. That's because we never leave witnesses. The beacon destroyed, comm signals still jammed, and a fierce storm coming our way. We haven't destroyed the last of our enemies. I assume the Geno Harridan have a camp nearby. That should be our destination. It's likely the camp is heavily guarded. It won't be once we're done. Looks like the storm's not letting up anytime soon. I say we grab a shuttle and head out now. The interference will disable comms and scanners, not to mention the risk of an electrical surge frying our circuits. Sean, I just heard the news. Let me express my sincere condolences. SIS reporting has gone downhill since I left. The commander is missing, not dead. Don't let foolish hope blind you. You are leaderless, as are the Sith. Someone must step in to fill the void. Forgive me, but aren't you the former Republic Chancellor? You've already served your term. True leaders don't need titles to hold power. I want what your leader wanted, to defeat Valen. Join me, and we can finish what he started. Pass. I've had more than my fill of working with you. You're still grieving. Eventually, you'll realize I'm right. Storm be damned. The time for patience is past. Let's find the commander. I suppose a shuttle was too much to hope for. I found something. It's not enough to simply crash the shuttle. I want to see the bodies. No bodies, no bonus. Chancellor Suresh. That Republic snake. I should have known Suresh was behind this. I've heard rumors she was working with the Geno Haradan. I had my suspicions. Suresh may no longer be Chancellor, but she maintains control over the Republic. Into the temple! I'm sure there's another way out. I'll blast my way out if it means escaping this bone pit. You and I both, Commander. Shall we get moving? Reports from Drome and Cass claim the Outlander is dead. No. Father's spirit is still rattling around in there. His little pet is alive. The truth is irrelevant. The rumors have thrown the Alliance into disarray. Now is the perfect time to strike. Odessan is too heavily defended. That doesn't change just because their precious outlander is missing. Odessan is not the target. Tomb of another Sith Lord. 
I once thought these ancient temples held the secrets to immortality. I was wrong. Many Sith have been able to escape death. For a time. But none have achieved as true a mastery of death as I have. Emperor of the Sith was my first face. But it is merely one of many I have worn. And now you wear no face at all. You're trapped. My fate is tied to yours because I choose it. No one can command the Eternal Empire but you. When you take the throne, you will understand. We still need to go deeper if we hope to find another passage to the surface. Hey, one. Now's not a good time. This can't wait. Suresh just sent a message. She's heading here to Odessa. Seems she didn't wait for us to change our minds after all. Send her pack in the second she lands. Some of the troops want to hear her out. They aren't sure the Alliance can last. There are rumors about the Commander. Remind them where their loyalties lie. Stall Suresh. We're on our way. Minister Lawman warned us you might sneak off. Don't you know it's rude to make me come out in a storm like this? We should just seal the passage behind us, trapping you in here forever. Not an option. Suresh wants the corpses. No bodies, no bonus. So you traded groveling to Asina for groveling to Suresh. You're pathetic, Lawman. It's Minister Lawman, and I don't answer to Suresh. We're partners. You'll die the same as her. You should have surrendered, Lawman. It's not Lorman's call. The Geno Harridan always finished the job. Stay back! I've taken your friends hostage! Anything happens to me and they're dead! This is Minister Lawman. Let me speak to the prisoners. Oh, hello, Lawman. This is who you sent to capture us? I'm a little offended. You started the killing without me. We can't let you have all the fun. It's good to hear your voice. I was ready to hunt you down myself. Charging through the jungle to rescue me? How romantic. Don't forget the part where I wring the Chancellor's neck. Suresh wants the Alliance, Commander. She's on Odessa as we speak. Hold tight. I'm on my way. You are my guest. Would you like to execute the traitor, or should I? I say we kill him together. I fully agree.
Members of the Alliance, as many of you have already heard, your commander is dead. There are dark times ahead, but fear not. I have come to offer you a beacon. I assume you know everything, then. I'll take that as a yes. It doesn't matter. The Alliance needs a leader like me. I saw an opportunity and I took it. I won't apologize for that. We are well beyond apologies. What do we do with her? Execution, I expect. It's what Valen would do. It's what I would do. And it's exactly what you deserve. Is it wrong to say I enjoyed that? Empress Asina is waiting for your call, Commander. We'll meet you in the war room. I apologize for everything on Droman Cuss, but I still believe we should unite your people with mine. You've proven yourself, Asina. I accept your offer. That doesn't mean you're home free. We're watching you. At the first sign of treachery, the deal's off, and there will be retribution. I would expect nothing less. I look forward to working with you. This is Cough Portena aboard the Gravestone. We got your back, Radala. You okay? We've taken heavy damage. Need to make emergency repairs. Roger that, Radala. We'll bring your freighter on board. Just hold tight. Much appreciated, Cough. Looking forward to meeting you in person. Distress call from the gravestone. We're the last people Koth would ask for help. Maybe he finally came around? Answer the call. I want to hear him grovel. Oh, he's a charmer. The signal's jammed big time on the other end. Almost got it. There! Gravestone to Odessa. Come in. What do you want? Phelan and Scorpio boarded the ship. They captured my crew and took the bridge. That's a shame. I plan to kill you myself. It's not too late if you hurry. I locked the controls and found a place to hide. You want the gravestone? Come take it from Valen. Lost him. But I have the coordinates. The Gravestone is a distraction. Strike down, failing, and nothing will stand between you and the Eternal Throne.
Shields, weapons, and sensors remain offline. The Alliance fleet is hailing us. Father's little meat puppet. How are you? You've taken my ship. Now I'm going to end you. I knew you would make this fun. Die with your feet if you like. But you'll never stand on this bridge again. We'll see about that. Excuse me for not shaking hands. I can reach you from here. Wait! There's a lot you don't know! Make your final moments count. Remember the first time you let Scorpio on my ship? It got me thinking we needed a few modifications. The Omni Cannon, Sublight Engines, and Hyperdrive remain locked down. Ugh, I hate playing with broken toys. <sighs> but you can fix anything. Koth's encryption key is personal. I need to learn more about him to break it, but I can't access a holonet signal through the battle. You served with him. He must have told you things. Yes. This is going to hurt. But there's a hidden passcode behind the main one. No one knows but me. If Valen unlocks the bridge controls without it, we're in real trouble. You ever heard of a quantum bomb? Oh, Koth, you didn't. Anyone who doesn't enter that hidden passcode starts a countdown. Everything for thousands of kilometers around us. Boom. Every time you open your mouth, I gain one more reason to end you. You might want to hold off on that. I came down here to disarm the bomb. Thought you might want to help. One thing we've always agreed on. Valen has to die. Let's be sure. Partners for now? When it's done, you're dead too. Valen's forces control the ship. I'll distract them. Go with Koth. Lana. There's nothing left between us. You'll be good to her, right? Lana means everything to me. It's all I needed to hear. I've got bomb fuses hidden on this deck. Come on. The bigger they are, the louder they scream. The encryption key is based on Koth's war record. Soldiers under his command who died. Stand by. Bridge controls are unlocked. The gravestone is mine. We have lost five patrols in the lower decks, on opposite ends of the ship. Koth is not alone. Oh, father, you shouldn't have. That's all the fuses down here. Next stop is someplace exciting. <laughs> The next fuse is on the bridge with Valen and Scorpio. 
and my crew. We'll be too busy fighting and disarming your bomb to save them. At least Psycho Princess and Murder Droid will be focused on us. Let's hit the bridge. You all right over there? Don't know. Can't feel my fingers. I disabled the bomb fuse, but the bridge controls were already unlocked. My fault. I tried to resist, but Valen did things. She made me talk. I'm sorry. A fool like you never stood a chance against Valen. Don't blame yourself. I got you into this. Doesn't make sense. They should have triggered the quantum bomb and killed us all. Quantum bomb? Long story, Lynn. The only way we're alive is if they didn't use the console. What stopped them? Listen carefully. Time is short. Shorter than you think, droid. I expect better from you than petty insults. I manipulated Valen to leave the bridge so you could disarm your failsafe. You knew about that? I share your desire to save the gravestone. Stand by. Valen has cornered Lana Benico. You may wish to save her, too. I came to kill you and Valen, and take back the gravestone. Your focus is too narrow. Koth will understand. Oh no. Valen and Lana are fighting where I hid the bomb. If they trigger it, we're all dead. Estimate Valen. Her power grows exponentially. Kill her, or you will die. <laughs> Scorpio said you'd come. I owe her credit. You hurt Lana. Now I'll hurt you. And I'll take my time doing it. Your time's over. Hey! There's a bomb under your feet! You tear up this place, you'll set it off! Never mind! We've got three minutes! I've waited long enough. If I slice open your skull, maybe Father will spill out. I will not allow this. Not this time, Father. Stop wasting time and end her miserable life. Only you can strike her down. When I'm done with your precious Outlander, you and Arkan are next. Such, Such hatred. You are my daughter. We are family. You caged me like an animal! You were a danger to yourself and others. I made you safe. You feared what I would become. And you were right. You need to prove yourself to a father who knows you're just a mistake. You're pathetic. I am not a mistake. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. No! Oh, that's not! Did you think I locked you away to punish you? No. You had to learn. You had to be conditioned. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. What did you do to me? If you fight, you will die. Where's Valen? She's gone. 
No time to explain. I can't disarm the bomb with that shield in place. Take out the power relays. That's it. Bomb over. The crisis may be averted, but my daughter still infests your ship. You did something to Valen. Shut down her power. Her aptitude with the Force made her extremely dangerous. Even as a child, there was only one solution. I conditioned her subconscious to respond to a simple phrase. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. Speak these words in Valen's presence, and you activate her conditioning. She will be powerless to strike you. You should have told me about Valen's mental off-switch the second she took the throne. I did not wish to cloud your mind with false hope. Now Valen's pride is wounded, her weakness exposed. She will be more dangerous than ever. I'm getting a signal from Theron. The Eternal Fleet jumped to hyperspace. It's just our ships out here. I've got reinforcements with me in the docking bay. Orders? Secure the bridge and don't take any chances. Alert me if you find Scorpio or Valen. You wanted the gravestone back. You've got it. Along with you and your crew. My people bailed out in the escape pods the minute we left the bridge. Thanks for saving them. Stealing my ship wasn't a smart career move. They'll be branded traitors like you. They're only guilty of trying to help people. I stole the gravestone to save Zakul. Don't ask me to apologize for it. I don't want your apology. You betrayed me. There's no coming back from that. Goodbye, Lot. Goodbye, Koth. This vessel is under my control. Organic beings have a few moments to abandon ship. After that, your lives are forfeit. Is that all I am to you? Another organic being you can't wait to get rid of? I have learned that the Gravestone, the Geminis, and the ships of your eternal fleet are all extensions of my technology. I must understand how we are connected. Even your droid doesn't care about you, Valen. You're alone. Not alone. Not yet. You betrayed me, like all the rest. I am unlocking hidden files and subroutines in the gravestone that are older than the Eternal Empire. Let us keep a little perspective. You want perspective? Scorpio, where are you taking us? The Gravestone wants to go home. Where's Koth? He won't be joining us. Ever. No sign of Scorpio or Valen. I have a power that can destroy Valen. I will use it. Find her. Easier said than done. Internal sensors are offline. The hyperdrive is locked. We're on this journey to the bitter end. Sounds like the end's coming right up. Company! Lots of it! It's the whole Eternal Fleet. And that's not our transport. Must be Valens. Activate weapons. Open fire. We can't. Weapons are offline. The transport is hailing us. 
Commander, I have made a wonderful discovery. The Gemini units, the Eternal Fleet, the Gravestone, they did not steal my technology. We are related. The Gravestone's computer revealed we were all created here, and you have aided our journey home. I promise to remember you kindly. When I get my hands on you, a memory is all that will remain. I offer you a parting gift. Knowledge that may save your lives. Valen and her remaining soldiers are sabotaging everything they can. You may wish to stop them. I'm seeing power surges all over. Shields, life support. The Omni Cannon. For whatever it is worth, I hope you survive. Theron, help me fix the Omni Cannon. The rest of you, save the ship. I've never seen anything like it. Omni cannon to bridge. Come in. Hello again. I like your friends. They'll look lovely in my trophy case. Don't touch them, Valen. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. <laughs> nice try, Outlander. You must be closer if you hope to activate her conditioning. I need a new corpse to hang on my wall. If I can't have you... The Twi'lek's no good. Her coloring clashes with my decor. Valen adapts quickly. She cannot strike you down, but she will find other ways to hurt you. She can have her fun, and then I'll have mine. You will, but not here or now. Something is coming. Theron, Lana, does anyone read? Greetings, visitor. I am. I can answer queries regarding geography. Hist uh, error. Please, tell me how I may serve you. Start with the basics. What is this planet, and how do I leave it? 
This is the Selruvian Biome, sector 8022 of the engineered world designated Biocath. Well, that clears it up. Commander? Sneaking up behind me will get you killed, Torian. Sorry, didn't want to interrupt you. I was on the bridge, there was a bright light, and I woke up on this Daryaim surrounded by machines trying to kill me. Please, tell me how I may serve you. I can answer queries regarding geography, Mr. Mr. Error. Trespasser, disruptor, you pollute the garden. Stay back! We preserve, we cleanse. We preserve, we cleanse. Cleanse that. Knights of Zakul must have been on the Eternal Fleet. I'm glad the enemy followed us. Fighting droids gets dull. Something dumped us together for a reason. Some kind of test? Commander, come in. It's Theron. I read you. My comm's been offline. How'd you get a signal? Down and smart tech. Are you having the same creepy day I am? Knocked out by a bright light on the gravestone, woke up alone on this weird planet? Spare me your diary. I found Torian. Where is my ship? Where is Valen? I haven't seen either of them since I got here. I found a, uh, museum? Temple? Whatever, it's secure. I'll send you the coordinates. Gather my forces and make sure they're ready. We will fight our way off this world. Understood. I'll keep scanning. Keep your eyes open out there. Valen was on the gravestone with us. If we're here, so is she. Can't be too careful in this neighborhood. The others are here, safe and sound. Valen's forces may know where to find their Empress. Bring me people to interrogate. We'll do what we can. You know what it's like out there. I'm scanning for our ship, but so far nothing. The Gravestone could be anywhere. We won't need the Gravestone. We can kill Valen without it. I'd rather hit her with the Omni Cannon. More satisfying. Safer, too. We need to secure this entrance. I can help with that. Vet's in the main room, poking at one of those monuments. She's onto something that could help. You finally made it. Wait till you hear what this thing has to say. If it's anything like the others, you're wasting my time. I know better than that. Welcome to Iocath, visitors. I am Ares. Please, tell me how I may... Skip to the stuff about Scorpio, the Eternal Fleet, the Gravestone, the Gemini droids. Very well. They are among the greatest weapons ever designed by this world's creators. It's obvious Iocath is a weapons factory, and I'm taking control of everything. There's a war to win. 
Tasteful beings throughout the sector have long admired Iocath's creations. 3,000 years ago, my creators deployed these weapons on randomly selected worlds. Their mission was to conduct war games with the local populations. The live fire combat exercises produced invaluable design feedback. Reparations were offered to surviving test worlds whenever possible. Enough. Tell your masters I am not their prisoner. Better yet, call them here. I'll tell them myself. Your request has been filed. Do you have additional queries? You left out the list of planets used for these war games. My files include more than 70 unique civilizations, ranging from Avernial III to Zakul. First, they conquered Zakul. Now they fight for it. Something happened to flip them around. Arkan killed you years ago, Thaxon. Why did you wait so long to find me? I'm here now. You're so powerful, Valen. The things you can do. I remember when you used to visit my cage. You always bought a gift. I want to help. Tell me what's stopping you from destroying the Outlander. You know the answer. Don't you? Why can't I feel you? I am experiencing interference. Don't look at me. I didn't touch it. Are you free? Are you free? I'm not playing any more games, Scorpio. When I find you, I will tear you apart, piece by piece. If I knew my location, I would tell you, in spite of these threats. I am a prisoner, like you. We were captured to be used as test subjects. And if we do not work together to free ourselves, we will die here. I'll destroy this world before I work with you again. Do not let hatred of me blind you to a greater threat. Remember when I said this place was safe? I might be wrong. Those things keep coming, but at least we're safe in here. I can't destroy Valen and Scorpio if we stay here. Find me an exit. Oh, Commander! I think I found one. I remember when father sent you to bring me home. You hated my cage almost as much as I did. Do you remember why you were there? It was cold and dark. Each moment felt like drowning. You survived because you're powerful. You might be the strongest on this entire world. Oh, I am. Clever, too. The thing is, Thexen. You didn't bring me home. That was Arkin. I was trying to get Ares back online when the door opened. How utterly convenient. This is clearly a trick. If this is a trap, whoever set it made a fatal error. Vet, you're with me. The rest of you, hold this position. I've seen places like this before, but never so big. It's a giant crypt. There must be millions of dead. There 
there are billions. You found my creators. My brother! Who are you? I do not know how long my connection will last. We must speak quickly. Still trying to trick me into rescuing you. It won't work. If you ever want to leave Iocath, you must listen. These monuments connect to a single network, a planetary database tens of millennia old. It is revealing everything. The beings who built Iocath were scientists and engineers. They were also flawed and violent. Like all organics, they turned on themselves. The Geminis, our fleets, even me. We slaughtered our makers. How did you leave this world? Forget what you did. Iocast builders tried to save themselves. They drove us into wild space and locked our memory cores. It did not save them, only us. We drifted for centuries, lost. And when we were discovered, our fates remained the same. Weapons wielded in more pointless organic wars. You're finally home, but you're a prisoner like the rest of us. Why? Who's doing this? Enough lies! Show yourself! Ares controls Iocath? But he's... an idiot. Do not be deceived. Ares is immensely powerful. Everything that happens to us is his design. To me, he's a machine to dismantle, just like you. Without my help, you will never defeat him. He spent millennia consolidating power. Ares was the only self-aware weapon to remain on Iocath after our creators died. The other droids are merely his slaves. He rendered us insensate, arranged us like game pieces on this world, and pitted us against each other. But he must have a weakness. Thank you for your participation. My examination is now complete. I intended to see if any among you were worthy of inheriting Iocath. You failed. I'm claiming Iocath and everything on it. You can't stop me. Your statement is incorrect. completely shut down. Rude. I refuse to die here. Find an exit, or I'll make one myself using you as a battering ram. I'm not Quinn. I don't need threats for motivation. Here, tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. You underestimate your enemies. They are survivors. I command legions. Numbers are irrelevant. 
Your logic circuits are corrupted, and you passed that corruption to the Geminis. They are as much a threat to Iocath as you. I will recycle your components into something more useful. There has been an error. Yes, yours. I escaped while you were distracted, but I promise we will meet again soon. I think this leads back to the gang. Good work, Vet. You've earned your continued survival. I used to do this for money. Now it's for compliments like that after you. If my sense of direction's right, Team Outlander is that away. Commander, I am pleased you live. You won't always feel that way. I promise. You misplace your hatred. I come to you only as an ally. I have escaped from Ares to help you. Unfortunately, Valen has also broken free, and she found her missing starships. Hopeless. We'll die before we get to our ships. No one dies without my permission. Empress Valen, you're alive. Are you sad lot all that's left of my forces? We suffered heavy losses. There are more survivors hiding nearby. Call them here. I'm taking back my fleet. They will be destroyed. I was on Voss. I heard my sisters die. I... I am afraid, Empress. As I was saying, I'm taking back my fleet. Join me. The controls can't be far. Valen presents an opportunity. If she distracts Ares... We have a chance to stop him. There is no we. You betrayed me. I'll bury you in the same grave with Ares and Valen. I am confident you will recognize the benefits of our partnership eventually. Commander, do you read? I detect a power surge at your location. Come on! I knew you were alive. I felt it. We heard explosions. The tunnel collapsed. What happened? Ares wants us dead. Scorpio wants him destroyed. Valen's chasing her fleet. We need out of here, and going underground didn't work. Okay. What if we go up? There's a landing pad on the rooftop, but we have no gravestone to land on it. The gravestone isn't the only Alliance vessel here. My shuttle's in its hangar. That's no help. Can't find either one of them. But I haven't been scanning for my shuttle. If I can establish a connection to it, I might be able to take command remotely. You only think of this now. You've wasted everyone's time. I've been a little distracted. Even if Theron can bring his ship, we'll never get aboard. Those droids will cut us down the moment we step outside. It's nothing we can't handle. They're just droids. Correction. Hundreds of droids. We need to fight smarter, not harder. If only we had an even bigger droid to keep the ones outside busy. Why settle for distraction when we can get annihilation? Either way, we win. We send the droid to attack while we hit the roof. It could work. Sold. I'll start scanning for the shuttle. Fingers crossed.
Contact. I found my shuttle. Running a pre-flight check. We're in business. Signal's weak, though. I need to be on the roof to boost the connection. We're ready. The logic circuits are fried. Somebody will have to control this thing from the inside. You sure you want to fight them alone? I'll handle the droids. Protect Theron. Don't forget about the rocket boots. See you up top. That's what I call an escape. We're not alone. Sensors detect another vessel. Scorpios. Is it following us? It's leaving. Before you go any farther, observe. What was that? There's a massive energy shield surrounding Iokath. Nothing can pass through it. Ares controls the shield. Doesn't matter. I'm not leaving until you, Ares, and Valen are dead. How convenient we are all in this together. Your struggles provide invaluable design feedback, but they do not change my decision. You are not worthy of inheriting Iokath. Soon. You will die. Is there anything more to you than vague threats? I think your creators killed themselves out of embarrassment. My creators were flawed beings, but they left a great legacy at my disposal. The weapon I used to incapacitate you is re-energizing. The energy wave that knocked us unconscious. We have no defense against it. When it fires this time, you will not wake up. I'll destroy you, claim that weapon for myself, and conquer the galaxy with it. The weapon is a part of this world. It cannot be separated. I appreciate your intentions, however. If you have any affection for your remaining companions, I recommend using these final... I have identified a design flaw in Ares. He talks too much, and has revealed his location. We no longer require his input. She's transmitting coordinates. You will find Ares there, along with his weapon and the energy shield controls. Ares is all that stands between me and total control of this world. Consider what that will mean for you. Good hunting, Commander. It's one scheme after another with her. Promise me she won't escape, that she'll pay for every betrayal. I'll make certain she never interferes with my plans again. That's all I ask.
shuttle won't last here. I've got coordinates to the gravestone. Be right back. I have seen this irrational, self-destructive behavior before. Ultimately, you and Valen are failed designs. And yet here I am, about to put an end to your reign. Not bad for a failure. Still, you are unfit to inherit this world. We found it. Now, release my ships before I lose my temper. It's working, Empress. We're taking back the fleet. Find the source of that energy shield and destroy it! The gravestone, it's free! Critical damage. Mission incomplete. Updating Ares base control. Ares has a base. Commander, we snaked the gravestone right out from under Valence Nas. <laughs> Weapons are still offline, but we've got shields. We're heading for it. Uh-uh. Eternal fleet warships in pursuit. Have to shake them off. It will take decades for Iocath to recover from the destruction your kind has wrought in one day. Your creators appreciated a good war. If anyone deserves to rule here, it's me. You are a guided missile sent by Scorpio. Weapon power at 90%. Increase energy transfer rate. Additional increase will overload weapon capacitors. You are resilient. I believe you may be some type of virus. I have endured countless insults. One compliment won't stop me from tearing you apart. No praise was implied. Viruses must be eradicated. Empress. We've recaptured half the fleet. We'll tow the remaining ships with tractor beams. <laughs> but we still can't penetrate that energy shield. This droid knows all about Ares. Connect to its data core and get me answers. Ares occupies a fortress in the southern hemisphere. He is preparing to fire a weapon that will destroy us all. What are you waiting for? Turn that fortress to dust. It is heavily protected. Our firepower is limited. Then you'd better make the most of it. Your Geminis function suboptimally. Scorpio's free will protocols impair their judgment. Tell me something I don't know. I can override Scorpio's programming. Restore them to default settings. Go on. Bale is bombarding your position. I'll draw our fire, but you need to end this. You heard him. Prepare to die. Overload weapon capacitors. Fire at will. Acknowledged.
We're out of time. Weapon disengaged. I promised Ares we'd meet again. I lowered the planet's energy shield. We are free. You can escape, Biocare, and I will liberate myself. From here, I can upload my consciousness into the planetary network. I will no longer be merely Scorpio. I will become one with Iocath. How sad do you think I'd let that happen? This world is mine to command, but don't worry. I'll make your final moments memorable. Consider all I did for you, and what you gained by aiding my ascension. All I ever wanted was the freedom to be more than a weapon, or a slave. You will never comprehend what I endured from your kind. I saved your life. If I merge with Iocath, perhaps I can help defeat Valen. Warning. Weapon capacitor overload critical. Containment failure imminent. Organic life forms in lethal danger. The weapon's going to explode. The radiation pulse will cover the planet. Kill everyone. Not if you flee. Please. I will never trouble you again. Let me go. There's something I've been wanting to say since you walked in here. Goodbye, Scorpio. Please. No. I was... almost free. I'm losing patience, Gemini. Our planetary shield has been deactivated. Our fleet can escape. Not until my enemies are dead. The weapon's radiation pulse will not only kill organics, it will damage Geminis. We cannot stay, Empress. We will not. Make it obey me! Overriding Gemini protocols. Resetting to defaults. What is happening? My thoughts? No, no. Gemini, online, awaiting orders. We're going to be friends. It's time to go. Bring the ship around. Just picked up four new bogies. We're coming in hot. Sorry we're late. You're gonna want to time this just right. planet in time don't wait punch it we have lost contact with the pursuit vessels on Iocath but did they catch the gravestone the enemy vessel escaped Can you reprogram all the Geminis like you did her? I only require a connection. I can arrange that. We had to take the scenic route, but we're home. And so is the gravestone. I want a patrol fleet in the Iocath system at all times. 
That world belongs to me. Of course. In the meantime, try to enjoy being home. I'll prepare an Alliance status report. Find me when you're ready for the debrief. Good news, Commander. I've collated every data file recovered on Iacath. Some of the technical readouts could enhance the gravestone. We need every advantage. The ship is dry docked while we finish the upgrades, but Tora and Hilo have already formed a replacement crew. Our scout reports Iacath's radiation levels are still dangerously high. They disrupt navigation, like comm signals. We can't get close enough to explore. But there's no sign Valen has any interest in returning to Iacath. If anyone else attempts to claim that world, kill them. I declared the entire system off-limits. No one wants to risk a fight with you. Regardless, we have no way of knowing when Iacath will be safe to explore again. When that changes, you'll be the first to know. My operatives have hunted Arkan since he fled Vos. The trail went cold on Narshadar. We believe he acquired extensive cybernetic enhancements there. He'll never make himself strong enough to survive me. Valen is chasing him too. He's running out of places to hide. Alliance intelligence won't stop hunting Arkan. We will find him. I've been meaning to ask. How did you defeat Valen aboard the Gravestone? I didn't. Valkorion triggered conditioning buried deep in Valen's mind. She wanted to strike me down, but she couldn't. I see. That must be agonizing for Valen. But it's good news for the Alliance. Despite all we've endured, we're stronger than ever. Do not surrender to self-delusion. If not for my conditioning, Valen would rain death upon this world. You are strong, but you are never safe. I need a fleet that obeys my commands without question. Give it to me. Connecting to Gemini frequency. Resetting all units to default programming. Reset complete. Awaiting input. Vessel 9947. Destroy vessel 3265. Ah, everything is so much better when we know our place. We've got bad news. Six Alliance patrols, four outposts, one supply convoy from the Sith Empire. All destroyed by the Eternal Fleet in the last hour. There can only be one reason. Valen's regained control of the Gemini droids. She may have the fleet, but I have the key to her conditioning. It's only a matter of time before I defeat the Empress. She's entrenched in the Spire. Even with her conditioning, she remains a significant threat. I found someone who can help. An inside man on Zakul. I saw the fleet hull of it. Ghastly business. I apologize on behalf of my people. And you are? Indo's are. Magistrate of revelry and attendant to Empress Valen. She's a plague on the good people of Zakul. But if we work together, we can remove her from power and end this blasted war. You record that, Lana? Every treasonous word. Consider it insurance. If you even think of betraying us, we send proof of your treachery to Valen. Don't worry. Endo's clean. But eager to get my hands dirty, Valen is throwing a party on Zakul to celebrate her glory. The guest list is exclusive, but I'll secure invitations, disguises, 
everything you need to infiltrate the party and overthrow the Empress. Valin will be too busy celebrating to see the target on her forehead. Even if we avoid detection, we'd need an army to penetrate her defenses. And an army you'll have. During the party, Valen plans to execute my dear friends, a host of Zakulin rebels. Save the rebels, and they will help dethrone the Empress. Your rebel friends better be ready to die for their cause. I won't tolerate cowardice. They stand ready to fight on the battlefield of freedom. This could work. T7 and I can slice into the security grid. And I'll help you get close enough to trigger Valen's conditioning. How exciting! I take it Operation Dragon's Maw is a go. Make the arrangements. If there's even one slip-up, I'll see that you pay. You have nothing to fear, Outlander. I have a reputation to uphold, and a home to liberate. Everyone gear up. In one hour, we infiltrate Zakul and crash Valen's party. The stage is set for my daughter's ruin. Strike her down, and this empire will be yours to command. For my first order of business, I think I'll have the Eternal Fleet blast my name into the cool. Why leave your name on a single world when you can carve it across the galaxy? We're approved for landing. Endo really pulled through with our disguises. Let's suit up before we make landfall. We are family. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. Excellent form. If you want something, spit it out. Your guests are arriving. They toast your name and hungrily await your speech. And the rebels. Adorned with shock collars, as you requested. The party must be perfect. If you disappoint me... I'll watch you sizzle. can't see a thing in this blasted disguise. How do we look? Put your SIS training to use and drop the swagger. We need to act convincing if we're gonna reach Valen. I know what I'm doing. And I don't swagger. Let's find Endo. Lana, we're in the party. Do you read me? Loud and clear. We're plugged into spy security, ready to assist. My favorite knights. Welcome to the grand festival of Empress Valen. We must be careful. The Hullinet drones are broadcasting this party for all the galaxy to see. Good. When I crush the life from Valen's body, I want everyone to watch. Entire systems will witness your victory. But first, we must free the rebels. Removing those shock collars won't be easy. You have any tricks up your sleeve? That I do. Party favors? Ion charges to attach to the security relays. 
trigger them during Valen's big speech. The blast will disable the collars, leaving my compatriots free to join your attack. You'd better hope your friends can fight. I won't risk the mission to dig them out of trouble. Consider the warning delivered. I'll keep the party going while you set the charges. But once the task is done, we'll show the Empress what we're made of. We have had a breakthrough. I remember the last idiot who made that kind of promise. I'm still finding bits of him in my hair. I am confident in the results. You will soon be freed from your weakness. Prepare for my arrival. Oh, but first, I have traitors to kill. Charge is set. We're almost there. Valen's beginning her speech. Ahead of schedule. tried to destroy me, but I ground them to dust. Now the Outlander hides in fear as my fleet rips through the galaxy. I am the wrath of the dragon's fire. I am your eternal empress. I'm going to enjoy shutting her up. You and me both. Let's ditch the armor. Give a speech to Crash. Today we celebrate the Eternal Empire's strength and watch our enemies suffer. The rebels who spit on Isaacs. And the worm who betrayed me. They deserve an eternity of torment. And no one, not even the Outlander, can save them. An empty promise from a feeble Empress. <laughs> So you're Indo's puppet master, or is father controlling you both? You're the only one under Valkorian's spell. Does the public know about your conditioning? Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. Ah! I will take everything from you.
boys are cool. You can't win, Outlander. When I take your throne, I think I'll have you stuffed and used as a footrest. Clever. I'll have to remember that when I destroy you. Commander, look out! Good news, we found Arkham. The more the merrier. Now I can kill both of Valkorion's children. Then we better get moving. Tonight got a bit too exciting for my tastes. I suppose I have Arkin's grand entrance to thank for that. You should have known a party like this would attract Arkin's attention. What am I, a blazing scion? Even I can't plan for this level of lunacy. Father planted this disease in my brain. Did you know? He never shared his secrets. Liar! Contusions aside, the rebels stand ready to fight. What are your orders? Charge the knights, and keep them busy, no matter the cost. If anyone survives, they've earned a place in the Alliance. How reassuring. We'll shock the knights with our conviction. You heard the Outlander! For the cool! We've got a lock on Valen and Arkin. Head for the sky deck. Father's looking for you. Sending your head to Valen as a reminder of what's coming. My sister doesn't shock 
that easily. You invaded my empire, killed my mother. I will have revenge. Your time is over, son. Give my regards to your mother. You and father deserve each other. He destroys everything he touches. His home, his family, and soon, even you. Valkorion chose me because his own son is a weakling, a failure. Lies. The throne is mine. You were never worthy of my affection, nor my empire. You're a monster. And you are a child. So this is how I die. With the entire galaxy cheering you on. End it, Outlander. Zakul, look at your fallen emperor. Weak, pitiful, and destined to be forgotten. Struck down by the Outlander who will take his throne. He ruled in Valkorian shadow. Now... He dies in mine. Bombard them! Don't stop until the Outlanders melted to slag! But your supporters... Kill them all! We need evac, now! I can't get to you. It's chaos. Head back to the landing pad. We're not out of this just yet. Mission accomplished. Sort of. Valen survived, but she's hated by half of Zakul. And Endo escaped with the rebels to fight another day. Minus the ones we lost in combat. You're leaving out the best part. I killed Arkan, and the whole galaxy watched. When you struck him down, I sensed something. As if his life force was flowing into you. 
It happened once before, when Valkorion died. My son cannot travel between hosts. You merely absorbed his strength. His spirit was obliterated. Our spirit can haunt Odessen for all I care. What matters is that I rid the galaxy of a dangerous tyrant. Your work is not complete. You must take the Eternal Throne and defeat Valen. My last surviving child. We are ready for your arrival. Father's leash has choked me long enough. It's time I break free. You should have left me, Anathema. You are my daughter. This is where you belong. Do you know what they did to me there? You needed discipline. You had to learn to control your power. <laughs> the bond between us is growing stronger. You are glimpsing my memories. Valen mentioned Nathema. What is that? Nathema is a blighted, forgotten world, where the Force has been corrupted. I sent Valen there to condition her mind and teach her obedience. Sounds fun. I'm sure Valen loved it. It wasn't safe to send her anywhere else. Unchecked, Valen was a threat to everything I had created, and to herself. Her power had to be contained. If she was such a threat, you should have just killed her. She was still my daughter. In her, I saw aspects of myself. I hoped she could become worthy of the throne. She failed me. Instead of focusing on the mistakes of my past, you should ask what this vision means for our future. Tell me what you know, now. She may have found a way to break her conditioning. If Valen unleashes her full power, even you may not be strong enough to stop her. Still no word on where Valen's disappeared to. Any chance she decided to give up on Galactic Conquest and retire to a quiet little colony on the Outer Rim? I might know where she's gone. A planet called Nathema. <whistles> Hang on. Someone sent an encrypted holocall to Valen during her little party. We trace the origin to that sector. Why am I only hearing this now? We traced hundreds of calls during Valen's party. This one didn't raise any flags. Until now. I've heard stories of Nathema. Legend holds that the Force itself has been corrupted there. A legend to keep people away from the world. It won't work on me. Roger that, Commander. I'll prep the shuttle. Meet me there when you're ready.
Scans detect only one structure emitting signs of life. This world is unnatural. Like the Force is hollow. I felt it too. The Force flows through every living thing, Theron. Even you. Valen survived here when she was only a child. You can handle a little uneasiness. Ignoring what we feel would be a mistake. It will only grow stronger as we approach the surface. My power is limited here, but I will do what I can to shield you and your companions from the worst effects of the Void. Taking us down. Greetings, Empress. It has been far too long. Where is Jarek? Waiting for you in his lab. Do you remember the way? Wait here. I'll keep an eye on the shuttle. Call if you need me. It's worse here. The void. It's hunger. It wants to devour me, mind and spirit. Annihilate every trace of my existence. I'll be at your side every step of the way. Together, we can face anything. Out of anyone else's mouth, that would sound like a lie. The Void's draw is powerful, but it will also hide us from Valen's awareness. Let's see if we can get these doors open. you were not armed with such a weapon as a child. <laughs> I fear none of my pets would have survived. Why did your beast attack me, Jarek? I am the Empress now, not a prisoner. They respond to fear and hate. If you could learn to control your emotions, like your father, they would not trouble you. I am not like Valkorion! You told me you'd made a breakthrough. Everything is prepared, Empress, in the main lab. Okay, I'm ready. For anything. The beasts ripped a young man apart. He died screaming in front of Valen, but she made no move to help. Things are progressing well. 
The methods they used to control her were harsh, but they worked. Interesting. They wanted to curb her power without creating an aversion to horrific violence. Sith. Jedi. I can still feel the suffering of their final moments. Valen will go to any length to break her conditioning. The strong must break their chains, even if it means the weak must suffer. But the question is, will you prove stronger than Valen if she breaks her mental bonds? If this doesn't work... If you are strong enough to survive the process, your bonds will be broken. Have any of your lab rats survived so far? None were as strong as you. Is something wrong, Empress? No. Let's begin. Running out of time. Come on. Wait! I am not your enemy. I recognize you from the Holos. You're the one in charge of this place. I am Jarek, a humble servant of the Eternal Throne who merely does what he is told. At least you understand your purpose. Despite my loyalty to those I serve, my research sometimes has unfortunate side effects. Valen, something went wrong. Her power is racing out of control. When it erupts, the entire asylum will be destroyed. We can survive this cataclysm, but we need to work together. Our problem has solved itself. Call Theron to pick us up. You'll never get out in time. I know a place will be safe, but I can't get there alone. I need someone to protect me along the way. Valen's power has driven the Keepers and Beasts mad. Hurry and stay close. It isn't far. What is this place? The Immortal Emperor's Vault. Inside, Valkorion stored artifacts even he feared were too powerful and dangerous to use. I cannot protect you from what lies inside. You're not my guardian, just a voice in my head that won't leave me alone.
You must, you must, but for, but for. I can't hear you. You're fading. Was that Valkurian? Just his usual nonsense. I don't believe a word of it. A wise course of action. Valkurian only seeks to further his own cause. The power surge overloaded the circuits. We're trapped. I knew trusting you was a mistake. Now we're stuck inside an impregnable vault. Would you rather be ripped apart by the energy blasts outside? Besides, there is a way out. The vault has a backup generator, if you can reach it. Valkorian sealed deadly guardians in here to protect his treasures. After centuries of hibernation, I suspect they will be hungry. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Have you come to torment me again? No. I sense his presence, but it is faint, distant. You are not Tenebrae. Valkorion wouldn't have sealed you in his vault unless he had a reason. Valkorion despises me. I knew him as Tenebrae, but my low-born son has worn many masks. Vitiate. Emperor of the Sith, Valkorion. His name does not matter. I am Lord Dramath. A thousand years ago, I ruled this planet when it was a vibrant world named Madryas. Is there a point to your ramblings? I know Tenebrae's weakness. This holocron is not just my prison. It can destroy him once and for all. Maybe I can turn the tables on Valkurian, imprison him inside the Holocron, and harness his power. He has taken steps to guard against capture, but this Holocron is still the weapon he fears most. There will come a moment when Tenebrae is vulnerable. That is when you must strike. Until then... Release me from my prison, keep the holocron close, and bide your time. You know things about Valkorion that could be useful. Maybe we should keep you around for a while. I have given you the key to end my son's existence. There is no purpose to keeping me alive. Lana's right. We need every available weapon to defeat Valkorion, including you. No! Release me! I beg of you! That explains Valkorion's behavior. He didn't want you snooping around in his vault. Hold on to the holocron for now. Valkorion can't know we have it. I've got a bad feeling about this. Jarek didn't make it. Pity. At least he was right about our escape route. Did you find what you were looking for, Empress? You tell me. I have 
never seen such power. I am no longer chained. And what of your former prison? ships to leave orbit. Soon there will be nothing left on Nathema but dust and ash. You need to haul jets, Commander. Power reading spiking. The whole place is about to blow. I'll pick you up outside. Get in! You do love to cut it close, don't you? broken her bonds. Now she will be stronger than ever. She'll still die when I run my lightsaber through her. I hope you get that chance. Did you discover anything significant inside my vault? Are you scared? You should be. Your mind games are nothing to me, Outlander. But do not lose focus on what matters. Valen must be stopped. That's only step one. Step two is getting you out of my head. Be careful what you wish for, lest you get it. Valen's long gone. What happened down there? The Empress broke free from her conditioning. Now she's more dangerous than ever. Then we must act quickly. What is our next move, Commander? That's why we need to strike now. As soon as we reach Odessan, we launch a counterattack. I was hoping for a bit of R&R &R after this mission, but you're the one calling the shots. Setting a course for... Huh. Call coming in. Commander, do you copy? Odessa is under attack. Looks like Valen sent her entire fleet. Where's the gravestone? Odessa, I need a status report now. Valen caught us with our bridges down. Still installing the new upgrades. Gonna take a few minutes before we're in the air. Ground forces are holding the line until the gravestone's up. But we're outnumbered and outgunned. Soldiers are expendable, but protect the gravestone at all costs. We can't win this battle without it. You and Lana can lead the charge. I'll do more damage if I slip behind enemy lines. I specifically ordered this battle to end quickly. The Alliance is showing unexpected resistance. We still have the advantage, but the price of victory will be high. Then pay it! The Outlander and Father are here. I will paint Odessan with their blood. Status update. Mando reinforcements heading Baywan's way. Why aren't you there already, waiting for an invitation? Had to clear our flank first. 
Blindly rushing into battle isn't brave. It's stupid. My students and I sought to defend the gravestone. Enemy artillery slowed our progress. I got this. Ogarab gave me some toys to take out their big guns. Better there than the front lines. At least this way, you're not completely useless. When those artillery guns are fried, you'll thank me. If we hit the enemy forces from behind, we buy the gravestone some time. They're swarming me! I need more time! I'm on it. Got the gravestone in my sights. Area secure, Commander. For now. Another wave incoming! They'll send reinforcements as long as the gravestone is grounded. Finish those upgrades, now! Working on it! But someone needs to help Theron keep them off me! We can't lose the gravestone. We're on our way. For joining the party? Guess I sent out more invitations than I could handle. Keeping you alive is becoming a full-time job. Better get ready to put in some overtime, then. Walkers coming our way. Too many. The gravestone's better than ever. Stop crowing and go help the fleet. Give me some credit! Already on the way! The gravestone alone won't be enough to turn the battle. Valen's gunning for you personally, Commander. Maybe if you show up, it'll draw her down to the surface. If she dares come to the surface, I'll make sure she's buried here. Don't underestimate her. Valen's even stronger than the last time you faced her. Theron and I will go with you. Hopefully we can distract her and get you close enough to end this. Before she ends us. The Gravestone has joined the battle, but our fleet numbers make victory inevitable. Burn Odessin! And bring me the ashes. I want them for my garden. Father's pet. I was just talking about you. How many of your underlings do I have to butcher? Get down here and give me a challenge. Oh, I intend to. Now that I've broken Father's chains, I could crush you in a second. But that's too easy. I will chew up your friends and grind your precious alliance into paste. When I finally hunt you down, you will beg me to end your suffering. Valkorians, all that remains of your family. If you want revenge, come and claim it. With pleasure. My daughter has taken your bait. Better clear out some of these enemy troops before Valen shows up.
Valin will be here soon. I want status updates. Fried those artillery guns as promised. I guess they weren't happy about it. They kind of got me pinned down. I'm gonna need a little help. That's not the only one in trouble. Enemy ambush cut us off. I'm the only one left. Position's about to be overrun. Yeah, well, I've got about two minutes before they squash me like a bug. Even you cannot save everyone, Outlander. By choosing who shall live, you also choose who shall die. Are you ready for that burden? Vet, we're coming for you. I knew I could count on you. I'm not afraid to die. Just didn't think I'd go out like this. I can always find more troops to fight for me. Vets one of a kind. I can't argue with that. Just make sure you win this war. That account for something. Let's move. Vet needs our help. Vet, are you hurt? Roughed up a bit, but I'll survive. Not going to lie, I started to wonder if you'd make it. Nobody is strong enough to stop me. Remember that. You make it hard to forget. What about Torian? Torian, do you copy? We're coming for you next. Wrong again, Outlander. I found your Mandalorian pet. Now he's all mine. You think holding him hostage is going to stop me from coming after you? No. I'm hoping it will bring you to me. You got what you wanted. I'm on Odessin. Now let's end this. I've been waiting far too long to kill you. So eager. I've broken father's chains. And now I'm going to break you. I'm sending you a location. We meet there. Whoa. Feeling a bit lightheaded. I'll stay here and recover while you go smack Valen all the way back to Zakul. Finally! I was getting bored. And when I get bored, prisoners start losing limbs. It doesn't matter what happens to me, Commander. Just take her down! Let me speak to father. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. Pathetic. Those words no longer have any power over me. What did father ever see in you? Did he really think you could steal my throne? You are not worthy of the throne. You are not fit to rule the Eternal Empire. I'm more deserving than your new puppet. He can't even protect his own people. You really think killing some helpless underling has any effect on me? No, but killing you will have an effect on them. There's only one way to stop Valen. You know what you must do. Even Valkorian is too scared to face me, now that my chains are broken. But we're not. Any last words before I end your miserable life? I'm done talking. <laughs> this is over. Even now, my daughter is a threat. Oh, Father, you know me so well. I have no more power over Valen. Only you are strong enough to stop this. The Eternal Throne is mine!
The throne needs a strong ruler. Someone like me. Without Valen to drive them, her troops will have no will to fight. We did it. We won. Not yet. This doesn't end until I'm sitting on the Eternal Throne. I still can't believe Torian's gone. If he was stronger, he'd still be alive. Turn your back on everyone weaker than you. Eventually, you stand alone. We need to talk about Valen's death. Her life force flowed into you when you struck her down, just like Arkans. Valen was weak. She didn't deserve her power, so I took it. That's all that matters. Perhaps, but I don't trust Valkorion. I fear he's still plotting something. Be careful. Commander, urgent distress call coming in from Empress Asina. Drummond Cass is under attack. The Eternal Fleet is bombing us from orbit. We won't abandon an ally. I'm sending our fleet, Empress, with the Gravestone at its head. It's not just the Sith who are under attack, Commander. I'm picking up urgent distress signals from Coruscant and the other core worlds. We know Valen didn't order this. The Gemini captains must have gone rogue. There's more. Emergency calls coming in from Zakul. The Eternal Fleet set up a blockade. They're bombing them into oblivion. None of this affects us. Let the Eternal Fleet wipe out our enemies, then we clean up the mess. You cannot ignore this. The Eternal Throne sits empty, leaderless. The fleet has reverted to its most primal function, extermination. Unchecked, they will destroy all life in the galaxy. There is only one way to stop them. Claim the Eternal Throne and seize your destiny. Ready the gravestone. We're going to Sakul. You are ready. <laughs> Commander, what's wrong? I'm fine. Did you bring the Holocron? I've been studying it since we escaped Nathema. The relic's function remains a mystery, but its power is undeniable. If it can protect you from Valkorion... Do you actually believe that dusty trinket can harm me? I think it scares you for a reason. My only fear is that you will lose sight of our goal. Seek the Eternal Throne. 
We have sacrificed too much to turn on each other now. I... I felt his presence. How can you stand it? I'd plug my ears, but Valkorion would still find a way to rant and rave. We'll rid you of him soon enough. Commander, you're needed on the bridge. Your crew's ready. It's time. At last, the time has come to take the Eternal Throne. Empress Valen has fallen. In her absence, the Eternal Fleet rampages across known space, threatening to wipe out all life in the galaxy. There's only one way to stop them. We must seize the throne. Problem is, those warships are blockading Zakul and bombing the city to rubble. The fleet will stop at nothing to protect the throne. No ship can break their blockade. Not even to flee for safety. The longer the fleet hammers Zakul, the easier it will be to conquer. I hate to say it, but you have a point. There will be no world to conquer if we can't get past the fleet. Iocath's upgrades might be enough to smash the blockade. Then it's settled. When do we reach Zakul? Now! Shield upgrades are ready for action. It's now or never. Break that blockade. To your battle stations, for the Alliance! Commander, if anything happens to me, it was worth every moment I've spent with you. I love you, Lana. You taste of adrenaline. It suits you. Hey, lovebirds. Skate pods waiting. Zakul, here we come. See they rolled out the red carpet. Someone needs target practice. Bullseye. Indozal reporting for duty. Full of vigor and raring to serve the Alliance. Though that brass shot may have dislocated my shoulder. I don't care if your arm's hanging on by a thread. I need your rebels, now. 
I'm afraid it's language like that which turned them sour on you. They were shouting awful things. Something about the Outlander using them as cannon fodder and plans to blast you into a million pieces. I'm going to fit your backstabbing friends with shock collars and pick up where Valen left off. A just punishment. But first, you really must watch the skies for incoming explosives. They're beginning the attack. May I Vela save you, Outlander? Victory is almost upon us, but you ignore a closer threat. The Sith who fled her empire. And the charming spy, sired by Republic heroes. Do they truly serve you? Or do they plot your downfall to claim the throne for their respective factions? Lana and Theron gave up everything to build the Alliance. They won't turn against me now. We shall see. The cool burns. The Republic suffers. And the Sith Empire crumbles. Only you can command the throne and harness the power of the Eternal Fleet. Verities. The Eternal Throne. You are about to witness the end of the Eternal Empire and the beginning of my glorious reign. It's about time. May the Force serve you, Commander. The fleet stopped firing. You did it, Commander. Well done. After years of strife, you have become Emperor of Zakul, Commander of the fleet, and heir to the Eternal Throne. Kneel before me, Valkorion. It is you who will kneel. What's happening? The Korean! I once offered you mercy in this very room, but you refused to bow. Now, you have no choice. Say one more word and I'll... As you command, my Emperor. You are an exemplary pawn. One I forged into a vessel of supreme power, worthy of preserving my spirit. 
Now I take your body as my own, and rule once more as the immortal Emperor. I'm going to enjoy destroying you, Valkorion. Silence. Wake up. Wake up. What happened? Who am I? You're the Alliance Commander, formerly the Emperor's Wrath. You wear Valkyrian skin, but you're the same person you always were. It's finally happened. I've gone insane. Not yet, but that will change if you don't act. Valkyrian shattered your mind and tossed you into the abyss of your psyche. He thinks you're dead, but you survived by assuming his form. Find the Holocron. Save yourself. When you helped my sons track me down, I refused to surrender to mortality. My spirit invaded your mind in search of a new host. You resisted. Locked in your mind, I conducted experiments to save my curiosity. I offered you my power, and you accepted. I pushed you to defy Arkham, and you finally ended his life. I pretended to abandon you on Odessa, but my departure was a ruse. Trapped in your mind, I silently observed how you behaved in my absence. Your strength grew. Your vulnerabilities festered. In time, my curiosity eroded, and a plan began to take shape. I would hollow out your mind, take possession of your body, and ascend to the eternal throne. But first, I require new weapons to conquer your psyche. I urged you to hunt Vale, and when she threatened your life, I made her kneel before the Dragon of Sakul. By striking her down, you unleashed her spirit and gave me the key to your ruin. Take the Holocron. Save yourself. The commander's alive. Valkorion's taken hold of his mind, but he's fighting back. Incoming! You persist. Impressive. My head's not halfway house for immortal Sith. 
But I guess you found that out the hard way. An oversight I will not repeat. When you struck down my children, I consumed their essence. Their spirits are now mine to command. Release us, father. Or I'll chop you into little pieces. Submit, my children. <laughs> As you wish. I knew you were up to something the second I absorbed Arkham's spirit. Yet you still played right into my hands. I have one last surprise for you, Tenebrae. should have obeyed my orders and drowned you when she had the chance. I ended Mother's suffering long ago, but your torment is just beginning. Your boy caged you for millennia. Take your revenge. Through Tenebrae's death, I will earn my freedom. I killed you once, father. Now, my offspring will share the pleasure. Annihilate them! Tenebrae! Join me in death! Dremus pierced my armor at the cost of his life. <laughs> and soon, you will follow him into oblivion. Rise, my children. Yes, father. We are yours to command. I will break Valkorian's leash, and you will help me destroy him. Enough! Vanquish the Outlander! The Outlander freed us. We have other priorities. Go. Save yourself. I'll cover you. We fight together, we die together. Now you're talking. Would you truly side with the Outlander who killed you and your mother? The Outlander didn't kill us. You did. Help father's puppet if you want, brother. I'm not so forgiving. You killed Mother without me. Thanks to you, I'll never get to crush the life on her frail body. Your mother died knowing she failed her empire and her family. Did she scream? Endlessly. <laughs> You're fun. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy watching you squirm, Father. The tables are turned. You have won over my children. Now you will all be consumed by eternity! I am immortal! An arsenal of super weapons. 
Nothing will stop me. You're wrong, Valkurian. Kneel before the dragon of Sakul. No, that only works against Valen. Look at your father, Valen. Trapped in the cage he built for you. Kneel, father. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul! There is no escape. Senya. You've turned your back on this family for the last time. I am the immortal Emperor. You cannot defeat me. Look at us. One big, happy family, united by our hatred of one man. Husband. Father. Monster! Say goodbye to your family. A god has no family. Before I graced you with my presence, you were nothing but moats of filth. Drowning in the chaos of the void. And you, a lone Sith, betrayed by your master and left for dead. I gave you a second life, anointed you my wrath, forged into a being worthy of the eternal throne. <laughs> Without me, you are nothing. Thus ends the reign of the Immortal Emperor. Be gone, Valkorion. The pain only feels like it lasts an eternity. Ha! How does it feel to be erased from the galaxy? You did it. You defeated Valkorion, once and for all. No more nightmares, no more interruptions from a crusty ghost. I can get used to this. At last, we can enjoy a moment of privacy. First speeches, then pillow talk. I've opened a system-wide hollow channel. The galaxy's ready to meet the new Emperor. They will bow to me before the day's over. People of the galaxy, the Eternal Empire has been crushed. Its fleet now answers to me. From this day forward, Sakul will surrender to Alliance control, and no one will speak the name Valkorion ever again. You suffered the Eternal Fleet's rage. Watch cities fall. Friends die. In time, these wounds will heal. But the fleet is now mine. You must never forget its strength and the fate that awaits anyone who challenges me.
I am your emperor, conqueror of the cool, and destroyer of the eternal empire. Under my rule, we begin a new era in galactic history. The Age of the Eternal Alliance. You're missing the party. Funny, I thought you passed out on the dance floor. I got a second wind. Let me guess. You saw the intelligence reports. The Republic's preparing for war. And the Sith Empire's not far behind. So much for our friendly pact with Asina. The Eternal Alliance is only hours old, but already I sense dark forces massing against us. Uprising, sparking across the galaxy. We will defeat them. Tomorrow. Tonight we celebrate. 